Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be flipping two of the tires that I have on the Z as well as well as plastic dipping them as well as <laughs> I'm gonna be plastic dipping them. I have a few spares right over here. Okay, I think we're good now. I'm gonna be plastic dipping probably four of my wheels today. I also wanted to take the time to kind of make a little introduction about myself. I kind of realized that I didn't do that in my last video, which is the first video I posted on my YouTube. Before I get into that, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get these tires taken care of before it gets too late. So here's my little Z. So as you can see, they are not too bad. You can tell they are wearing off a little bit on the inside. Here is the driver's side tire. These are my front ones, which you can see are still super meaty. Ignore the spider that I ran over. So if you guys don't follow me, I am going to be going to a drift event on the 26th this month. So I'm just kind of prepping and getting everything ready right now. I don't think I'm going to need front tires. If anything, I'm pretty sure they'll get worn down by the end of the day, but I don't think I should be needing another set for the front. My rear tires do always go by really fast, so I want to have at least two pairs. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to go ahead and flip the ones that I have in the back right now so I can finish using those off. I'll probably go out and use those first just to get rid of those. And then I do have another set of tires that I'll be taking and I'll probably pop those on and then finish the day with those. I have all my wheels on the side right over here. I have these two brand new tires. As you can see, they still have the writing on them. I'm going to be taking these to the event, these two that I'm going to flip, and of course the front ones which are going to stay on the car. I also have this kind of peel off spray right over here. My plan right now is to get those tires flipped, come back, start painting those wheels. I know they're just going to be OEM wheels anyways, but hopefully they look a little bit better and match with the car a little bit more being black. For right now, I am going to go ahead and throw on these wheels that I have with like no thread. Once I'm done with all of that, I'm going to throw the wheels back on the car. I got those two wheels taken off and I'm sweating already. I'm just gonna go ahead and put those wheels in the car and start heading out of here. You have a clap car. Surprisingly, Zach's actually working today. He is busy working on a car right now. I just dropped off the tires with him and he said he'll text me once he's done with them, which will probably be in like 30 minutes to an hour. We'll probably come back, pick up those tires and then head home from there. pit stop at the gas station can you guys believe these gas prices in Cali? and this is regular okay i am back at the shop oh my god i'm back at the shop so i'm just gonna stand out here and wait for zach to come out i mean i guess the car's all right but it's still a de Of course not. I don't take pictures of these. Wow, Zach's actually working. Do you want to say hi to my YouTube? I actually did post one video. I asked Zach if he wanted to say hi to YouTube and he said he needed a Zach. Now you want to say hi to YouTube? Hey YouTube. I actually cut it off, but um, he said that he had the best CE in San Diego. Best, best CE in San Diego. 
Z. Definitely not better than Z. Wow, he said clapped wheels. You think because he got some nice old wheels, he can bully me for mine? Whatever, there's nothing wrong with them, right guys? I don't think they can hear you, but he uh, said they have the worst prices. All done? Customer service. And terrible customer service. Great customer service. And especially from Zach. I'm wheeling out your wheels and tires. As you should, this is like the first time he does this. <laughs> Hopefully your subscribers know you lied to you. All 31 of my subscribers know I am truthfully honest. Yeah, right. Because who brought them into the shop? How do you open these clap masters? I think I opened it already. Left it up? Yeah. <laughs> Don't post that thing. Please posting them so they can see the real you. <laughs> this is what I get from Zach. Look, I come here to support him and his business, and this is what I get. He's scratching the car, bro. It's already clapped. It's fine. Look at this. What is this? So look at that. So look at that half either. carpet, half metal, or what? Look I think that. I have it in my garage or no, somewhere. You don't. Look, getting the paint all dirty. No, I think that's as high as it goes. I've never done that before. It's kind of weird. I feel like I'm going to break it. Oh, God. This one, you have to slam it. Are you sure? This is for you. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not a stripper either. Buy yourself something nice, yeah? Maybe like an HR? I don't know. My car is pretty clean. I don't know what else I need. But clips of uh, you know when you get a ride along from me. Yes, I did ask Zach for a ride along oh, for exposed, the first time at ABS exposed, because I am scared of trying it out for the first uh, time. So I did ask him for a ride along. Figure out how I'm gonna put four on the roof rack, possibly five, and one inside the car. I have four for the rear and then two for the front. I have uh, my brickies in the front, and I have those in the shop. Four burners, brand new tires, and it should be fine. It'll be enough, especially because like I've only brought four ever. And I've never gone through like four and like have to stop halfway through the day. Yeah. Because if you do like five or six laps and then you do cool down for like 30, 15, 30 minutes and then you go back again, like it won't throw your tires as bad. And I'll tell like the flaggers like, hey, cool down lap, and I'll just drive the track to cool down, get the temps down. And oh, they let you do that? They let you like drive on the track, like cool down? Because it's Chino's event, so like you just oh, that's tell right. Chino and just say, hey, cool down lap, and then they'll let you go ahead. And you just drive slow through the track to cool down. Okay, well, there cool you down. have it. ABS tips from Zach. Well, thank you, Zach, for Welcome. flipping my tires. I will BST see you next time. Yeah, come to BST in Motorsports. On Broadway. I don't know about Zach's customer service, but I know the rest of the guys great are really customer great. customer service by Zach. Just when you get here, ask for Zach, and I'll help you out. Don't ask for Zach. It is now the next day. I ended up getting kind of late yesterday. I had gone to the store after the shop, and then I also grabbed some food on the way home. I got home, and I started eating my food, and I ended up getting kind of lazy, but I am here today. I already went ahead and took out my tires out of the car and I have them right over here. I have one of the other ones right over here and I actually went ahead and rinsed these down a little bit because they were a little bit dusty. I have this one right over here just because this one has like that little peel off stuff which I'm going to be removing in a few minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and sit down, get started with this one and just kind of talk to you guys a little bit about me and my cars and basically what I do. So I had realized in my other video that I had posted that I didn't really do too much of an introduction about me and the reason I didn't do that was because I had actually recorded a little introduction for the video that I made of me installing my hydro. And like I had mentioned in my last video, I thought that was gonna be the first video that I was gonna post on my YouTube, but it ended up being my other one. I had mentioned on that video how I had lost my iPhone where I had recorded that footage and I was able to back it up on my iCloud. I thought I had everything, but I went back and checked and I realized I didn't have like a 25 minute video, which was actually something I had recorded in the beginning, which was my introduction. I was actually still planning on posting that video and just kind of leaving my intro there. But once I realized that I don't have an intro recorded anymore, I figured I might as well just post this video and kind of explain a little bit about myself on here. So for those who don't know me, my name is Jasmine. I am also on Instagram as Honey Vibes. So if you hear honey or anything like that, that's where that comes from. 
I am 23 years old. I actually just turned 23 this month on the 13th. I currently live in San Diego, California, and I was born and raised here my whole life. Up to right now, I have not lived in any other places or any other states. I don't really plan on leaving San Diego anytime soon. I obviously have my 2007 350ZHR, which is where these wheels belong to. That is my drift car. I don't daily that and I don't take that anywhere other than out when I'm drifting. I do also have a 2002 Mustang that's just a V6 that is my daily and that was actually my first car that I got in 2017 I believe so it has been about five years with that car now. It's actually gonna be five years next month in April. That's my little baby for right now. I haven't really done anything with the Mustang in a while because like I said that's just kind of my daily so I have it looking pretty decent or at least to my liking. I think it looks pretty clean the way it is and I'm happy with that so I don't really have any other things I want to do to the Mustang right now. In the future I would love to swap out the engine for something faster and possibly turn it into a drift car but for right now I have the Z so I have no reason to have two drift cars. As far as the Z I did buy that in June of 2020 so I've had that for about two years now. Really the only things I've done with it is spray paint it pink. I primered the roll cage white and I never finished painting it so it's just kind of white right now. I obviously put in the hydro. I also painted the inside of the car black. This car had came with some coil Overs, the wheel that did, the roll cage, and it was also already gutted. It also came with two work wheels that I had in the rear, which I actually have right over here. My plans with this car is basically to keep restoring it. Although I do like the color right now, I don't think I'm going to keep it this color. I'm probably going to end up wrapping it within the next year. I do want to keep driving this car and learning how to drift in this car, but I do plan on getting like a C6 within this next year. And that's the car that I really want to drift. I would love to build a drift bet and start going into competitions with that car. I want to compete in drifting, so even if I don't make it on like Formula Drift or like drift side of like stuff I guess. I'd hope to at least make it in the media side like YouTube and Instagram and hopefully get sponsors and be able to drift for free. I've already gotten some sponsors with the stuff that I post and I really appreciate them and they've already helped me with little parts on my car so I hope I can keep that momentum and just go on from there. My goal in life right now is to compete on formula drift so I really hope that I can keep doing this stuff and hopefully with some time and hard work and everybody's support I can make that happen. I started drifting about two years ago. I want to say in 2019, like late 2019. It actually started with the Mustang. It was kind of during the winter season, so it was during the time that it was raining and a lot of people were just going out and drifting in the rain. So I decided to start going out there and giving it a try. I was super scared. I remember my first two nights, I did not do one donut at all. I think at the most I maybe did like half a donut. really scary. I wasn't used to like hitting the gas pedal and just like throwing my steering wheel in one direction then letting it go and just hoping you didn't crash into anything around you. It was really scary figuring out how the car works and how it moves and then learning how to trust yourself and the car. By the third day I had tried that out in dry land and I was actually doing pretty decent. Even I was surprised. <laughs> I really didn't think I had a lot of power to do donuts being a V6, but it kind of got down, so I was pretty excited about that. I just kept practicing any chance that I got. I kind of nailed down donuts on the V6 as best as I could. Being for like an automatic open diff stock height at the time, I had actually gotten the chance to drift the Z and do some donuts in her before I bought her.
doing that really got me excited because I realized how fast of a learner I was when it came to drifting. It was definitely like such a big adrenaline rush and I just instantly fell in love with it. And the moment I drifted the Z for the first time, I knew that this was something that I wanted to keep doing and I wanted to get better at. The next year, I decided to buy the Z. I'm really grateful that the owner let it go for so cheap. My plans with the car right away were basically to restore it and get it looking a lot nicer because it was like all different colors. That didn't really end up happening. I had just started going out and started drifting and I realized I was getting pretty good pretty fast and I was having a lot of fun with it. So instead of saving up my money and trying to get the car wrapped or, or buying some side skirts or a bumper for it, I decided to just spend it on tires and just kept drifting for a while. So it wasn't until this year, is that when I painted it? December, I think? I don't remember, but it wasn't until like recently that I decided to finally start restoring it a little bit more versus just driving the car. I also do a little bit of like modeling. I'm not a professional model by any means, but I do like to do photo shoots, like portraits or shoots with people's cars or my own cars. That is something that I really enjoy doing. When I was younger, I really wanted to grow up and be a model. I am 4'11", and I weigh like a little bit less than 110 pounds. So I realized, especially with my height, I probably wasn't gonna make it in a professional field or at least for like the brands that I wanted a model for. A little bit after I bought my Mustang, I kind of like wanted to get out of my comfort zone. I was really insecure about myself and I hadn't really posted on social media in a few years. So I just wanted to get out there a little bit more and just kind of feel good about myself. So I decided to start taking pictures with my car and I wasn't good at it at all by any means. The first ever pictures that I took like me modeling with my car. My mom took them and they weren't the best, but I posted them anyways. Not that long after, I started getting messages from photographers wanting to collab and do photo shoots with me and my car. And I am super grateful that they reached out and they did that for me. That is what really got me out of my comfort zone. I still do car shoots and I now charge people for it. I don't charge a lot, but it does help make up for like buying outfits, my shoes, my gas there, and also my makeup because makeup isn't cheap. But of course, it does also give me content to post on my page. I love going out and seeing like a nice background and taking pictures with it. It's really helped boost my confidence. And I know I'm not perfect, but it has took me a long time to be happy with myself, be confident in who I am. I'm still not 100% there, but I'm definitely at a happier place with myself than what I was before a few years ago. And I am really grateful for all the people who have helped get me here. And of course, for you guys who support me. I don't really know what else to tell you guys right now. I have a lot of things I would love to tell you guys about me maybe i'll save that for like future videos i'll probably tell you guys a little bit more about me in each video but for right now i think i am just gonna try to finish peeling this stuff off it's taking a little bit longer than i expected but i'm like halfway there so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish getting this stuff peeled off and i'll see you guys in a little bit Man, I am sweating. It is 86 degrees out here in San Diego today and feels like 86 degrees. So I'm basically almost done with this wheel. There is a few little parts on here. We're kind of too thin for me to like peel off. I did end up going in with some 120 and 600 sandpaper just because it was taking way too long for me to peel it off. Now, if these were any other wheels, I probably would have sat there and actually took the time to peel them. But these are stock wheels and they're just my drift spare. So I'm not too worried about them getting scratched. I got the majority off with that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this wheel outside. I'm just gonna rinse it down. And while that's drying off outside, I'm gonna bring in the other three and start prepping it with the paper and tape so I can start painting them. Okay, so I am down to my last wheel. This is the last one that I had been sanding down. And I have my other three ones right over here. So I have the inside of them lined up with tape and 
paper only because I don't want to spend so much time painting the inside. Like I said, these are spares, so I just wanted to get them black. So that is the plan for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish wrapping this one up. I guess I could start painting after that. So I forgot to mention this, but I did have intentions on flipping the tires over and lining up the other side. So I already went ahead and took care of that. I did run out of tape for this last one right over here. I'm pretty sure I have some tape lying around somewhere, but I don't really feel like looking for it right now. I'm going to go ahead and get started on painting the other ones and then I'll probably just take off the tape from one of them and move it to the last one. I have my peel off spray right over here that I got from AutoZone. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so I just finished doing the first coat. So this is just kind of how they're looking so far. I do think that I might have like sprayed a little bit too much in some areas. You kind of see it looks a little bit weird versus like this one. On the bottle, it does say start with one thin layer and then add four to five medium layers. So I think I might have gone a little bit too thick on the first layer, but it's okay. I'm not too worried about them being perfect. It does say wait about 15 minutes between each layer. So I'm going to go ahead and let these sit for a few minutes and then I'll come back out and spray the second layer. Here are the wheels after the second coat. So I don't know if I sprayed a coat on too thick and it kind of started like bubbling over here on this one. Or maybe I just didn't give it enough time between the coats for it to dry and it kind of maybe clumped up. I'm not too sure. This one doesn't look the best right now. This one was the one that I had started sanding down earlier and I didn't get everything off, which you can't see in those areas right over here. And I have this last one over here, which actually looks like it's the best out of all of them. This one looks pretty good, except for like this area over here, but the rest looks pretty decent. So I think in the meanwhile, while those dry up, I'm going to go ahead and start taking off the front wheels. It is 640 right now and the sun should be setting in about 30 minutes. So I'm thinking I'm going to do the front ones off camera while I finish these on camera. And then I'll probably show you guys at the end how the wheels came out. But what I'm thinking is I do want you guys to see the wheels on the car. But in some daylight, I think I'm going to finish up with the front ones tonight. Throw them on the car and then I'll probably get some videos with the wheels on the car tomorrow. I just kind of edit that into this clip. Let me go ahead and finish these wheels and I'll update you guys in a bit. I just want to show you guys the wheels with the third coat. I also went ahead and took off the wheels from the front. I kind of ran out of spare, so I put one on this side and I just kind of left it jacked up on this side. Where are you going? <laughs> So the sun is starting to set, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night with this video. There's not a lot of sunlight, it's kind of hard to see stuff. I'm going to go ahead and spray another coat or two onto these wheels. And I also have the front ones right over here. I already wiped those down, so I just need to prep them and then spray those down too. I promise I will go ahead and record the wheels on the car tomorrow. So you guys can see how the wheels came out and how they look like on the car. I do want to give a huge shout out to Zach and to BSC Motorsports in National City. I know I had been joking about their prices and customer service, but all jokes 
jokes aside, they are really great. They do have great customer service and they have really great prices at their shop. They take care of your car. So if you guys need anything done, I would definitely recommend going to BST Motorsport. They are super great. They've even been nice enough to let me bring the Z into their shop. These are lift and let me work on my car after hours. So I really, really appreciate them and their support. And I would really appreciate it if you guys could support them as well. I do have a few other things I want to do to the car before I go to ABS. So I'm probably going to record those in separate videos throughout the week and post them later on. I also forgot to mention, if you guys like the shirt I was wearing today and yesterday, you guys should follow them on Instagram at Cali Creaming. This shirt is in a size extra small. I think I have a code with them, but I'm not too sure. So I'll go ahead and reach out to them and ask them. And if I do, I'll go ahead and include my code in the description on this video. And I will also include a link to their Instagram so you guys can follow them and check them out. Just ignore all the dirt and the stains I put in it today. I'm going to go ahead and finish off and get cleaned up here. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Is this a fake pocket? Hold on. What is this? Real, that's for my pen. I'm professional, that's why. I'm not a stripper either.